Last week on the It Girl Diaries. Today is cleaning day. But I'm just not used to the way. Oh my God, that looks so nasty. Honestly, I understand what they mean when they say like your frontal lobe is not developed. All of these girls out here that look pretty, I taught them how to get pretty. pretty. Oh. Okay. For the last few months, I spent so much time in my own world that I forgot to enter and check into my friend's worlds. So I made it my mission to do so. I packed all my things and flew across the ocean to surprise my best friend Justin for his birthday. Did we have beef? Was our friendship important to him the way that it was to me? And how many drinks did I have to shove down his throat to see his true feelings about our friendship? Hopefully none, but I was willing and ready to test that out. Who would be my bridesmaids or bridesmen? Who was gonna be my future child's godparents? My friends have always been there for me, and now it was time for me to show up and do my big one for them. So cheers to the start of being a better friend. Wish me luck. Hey guys, so I'm finally landed in my hotel and I am about to do my makeup because I have to run out to Target and to some other stores to get some stuff because I am planning on filming something tomorrow. Justin doesn't know I'm here yet, but here's the tea of it all. Okay, let's really talk while I do my makeup. I feel like Justin feels like I not left him, but more so like ever since I moved back to New York and he moved back to LA, I don't, I don't know. We used to be together every day. It's really hard for me to explain. Like, and I'm not trying to say like I left him in the dust because I could say the same thing about him. Like, I feel like he just is going about with life and it's like, you know, like I had to move back. Well, I didn't have to, but I did move back to New York and it was a real struggle for me. Not that he wasn't there, but I don't think we was there for each other in the last like two years. And a lot of people do ask us like, are you guys still friends and this, this and that? We are still friends, but I just feel like, I think we just need to like touch base and get on the same page. The thing about friendship is that, the thing about friendship is that I'm like a very minimal friend. Like you don't have to call me me and text me every day there's a lot of people who you know they need to keep in contact with their friends every single day to make sure like they're still friends or also because they love talking to them and I'm just not that person like I'm not the person that can like speak every single day and like be on the phone every single day like I have a really small social battery and it dies quick no matter how much I love you like I can't even be around anyone that much not even my family i be needing breaks okay when i was growing up i spent a lot of time alone me and my sister are eight years apart and then me and my brothers we didn't live in the same household when my sister was an adult i was a teenager and she had already had a baby she had moved out and so i i spent a lot of time alone by myself and i think that's just where like my uh, loner energy comes from because a lot of people do tell me that you know I move like a loner you know I like to do a lot of things alone and stuff like that which is very true um, I just feel like I'm a very minimal friend I think the thing that confuses like a lot of friendships for me is that like some people may take that as like I want nothing to do with them when it's totally not true like yes I do put in energy and I like hit up my friends and stuff like that, but like I'm not gonna hit you up every single day, especially if I'm the only one doing it. Not saying Justin did that, but you know, I'm just explaining like how I see friendships. I'm, a, I'm the type of friend that like really doesn't expect much of my friends. I know that sounds a little crazy, but like I, I like the soft life when it comes to my friendships. I've had a lot of fake friends that hurt me in my friendships like I'm not expecting you to like do certain things like I feel like a lot of people like you know they argue with their friends or they fall out with their friends because they be expecting their friend to congratulate them or they expect their friends to do this and do that and it's like I have no expectations when it comes to like my friendships I like take you as you are I just expect you to just you know just be yourself Honestly, I just want I just want you to be yourself. I want you to be happy, be loyal. As long as you're loyal, as long as you're happy and you're not pressuring me to be a certain way and you're allowing me to also be myself, we're going to be good. I feel like that is really the soft life when you have friends who don't expect much of you but to be yourself and they take you as you are and just respect you as you are and they not look they not like badgering you and holding you 
holding you to the cross just because of something they thought you would do. I'm not that friend. I feel like a lot of that with a lot of people get um, miscommunicated because to some, to them, it may look like, um, like I don't care. And that's really not true. It's just that I'm just a very minimal person when it comes to friendships. And so I've realized that like, you know, maybe I need to put in a little bit more effort into my friendship. I don't ever want to come across as fake because I'm not that. Like, I've had friends that I've been friends with for years. I really kind of want to just come here to talk to him and just like see where we are as far as friends. One thing I know is that we'll always be best friends, but I feel like we have, we're having like some type of like disconnect. It's almost like he doesn't know much what's going on in my life or what I really went through recently. I don't know what he's been going through and what he's went through recently. I kind of just want to touch base on that and we've had a lot of arguments and fights in the past. Funny because I, I've actually said that on Twitter a few times that, you know, I'm a very minimal friend and a lot of people actually called me a bad friend. They're like, oh, so you don't expect your friend to call you? Like, I never said that. And no, I don't expect her to call me. Actually, to be quite honest, like why would I expect anything of anyone? No one owes me anything. And that's just how I see it. Like, I know a lot of people might not agree with that, but that's just how I see it. And I just like to take people as they are. And if there's certain things that I'm not feeling, then I'm just not feeling it. So this whole trip is really just to confront my best friend. We're going to see what's tea because one thing I'm not trying to do is, one, lose my best friend or have my best friend lose me. You know, I love him and I cherish him and we've had, we have a lot of memories together and I want that to keep going. So I'm really going to like, I'm really here to see him. We're going to confront him tomorrow. Good morning guys. Day two in LA. What do you guys think about my jewelry? I should do like a jewelry tour, right? Um, I'm wearing some old Karen and Rita, a little bit of Hermes, a little bit of Van Cleef, um, some new Karen and Rita that has not come out yet. Um, wait, look at this side because I took my earring out on this side. I'm gonna put it back in actually. So today is a shopping day. It's only the second day. So today I get to like run around, go to all the stores that I want to. Um, I'm about to go to the Real Real. You guys already know the Real Real is like a consignment store. They have different things here than they do in New York. But um, as far as my jewelry, these are some of the new Karen and Rita collection. So you guys are gonna be seeing this very soon. And then we have the earrings. I have on two pairs, but they're like mismatched. Um, I'm feeling super cute today. I got on this Zara shirt. It's giving like CEO off duty. I have actually have a get ready with me on my TikTok and my Instagram. So make sure you guys go watch that. But um, I feel like the devil is trying me today. You know, like I feel like the devil is trying me trying to get me in a bad mood today and i'm not gonna allow it i have so many things that i want to do in life and so many plans that i want to do while i'm here which justin you know resolving our situation and i feel like the devil is trying to like get in my way and distract me and like a lot of things have just been like really weird today like a lot of things have been going wrong it might seem like small world problems to someone else but like when you're constantly dealing with like stupid stuff back to back to back to back all in one day it's easy to get frustrated and so the devil is trying me any way he can because he wants me to be in a bad mood he wants me to have an attitude he wants me to just you know i don't know and I'm not gonna allow it. This morning while I was doing my makeup, I had to really say like the devil is a liar because I'm not gonna allow the devil to take me out of my spirit. I'm here to complete a mission. I'm on this earth to complete a mission, period. But I'm also in LA to complete a few missions. Like to while I am here to pop up on my friend and celebrate his birthday, I'm also here like doing business because that's just what I do, right? And so the devil is just trying to distract me and make me have a bad day so that I can go off on somebody and I am holding it together. So yeah, I'm gonna do, do some retail therapy. I didn't wanna pop up on him for his birthday, but I think we just like, you know, I don't wanna ruin his birthday. We have some things to talk about. So 
I gotta think about that. What do y'all think? Should I or shouldn't I? I'm finally at Yamashiro. It's probably like a lot of loud music, so I'm trying to talk loud, but Tati and Justin are over there. I'm about to walk over there. I'm really, really nervous. Like, I'm really nervous. Okay. Um, okay, let's go. I'm walking. You guys, I'm walking. He's right here. He's right here. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Wait, when did you get to LA? Are you didn't tell me? No. Oh my God. Happy my birthday. Thank you. Okay, we have to talk. Oh, no, it's not that serious. It's not that serious. I just miss you. I do. What do we actually do have to talk. Yeah, like, I, I have a couple of. Actually, let's go over here real quick. I don't want to say this in front of everybody. Oh, look at his outfit, y'all. He looks super cute. But like, happy. <laughs> hey, I miss you. I didn't know you was in LA. We yeah. don't talk no more. I came for your birthday. Yeah, I did that to you last time too. But why didn't you tell me? Because, like. I want to I want to surprise you. Okay. Honestly, I want to surprise you. You just thought of that. No. Right? <laughs> I swear to God, I want to surprise you. You probably was out here already. I I swear I wanted to surprise you. I put that on everything. That oh, well, I miss you. But we do need to talk. Yeah, we do. I feel like I feel like we want to see each other on birthdays. Like yeah, I now, see each other like we see each other once a year. Yeah, and I just feel like there's some type of like disconnect and some type of problem. Like I don't know. We got a problem. <laughs> do we do have we? a problem? <laughs> I don't uh, know. Do we? Girl, if I had a problem, you would know. You would be the first to know. Okay. So. I'm a little nervous, but... No, it's good vibes. We'll have a sit-down conversation. All right. Am I invited to sit down with you? <laughs> He's at security. Hi, Tati. Hi, Francis. You look cute. Started with drinks already. Oh, did y'all? Because we didn't know you was coming. Ooh. So, now nah, I'm playing. All right, do it again. You want me to your face? Hmm? I didn't know you were doing that. I'm gonna put the face on. Why? <laughs> okay, no, oh, she's saying. No, I swear to God, I'm gonna do you the favor. <laughs> I feel like this. I feel like if I, <laughs> I feel like this. I feel like I know if I need you, you will pick up the phone. And you know what I'm saying? For two hours, three hours, and I can cry. I know that. Like okay. I know if I need you, if I was like I'm in the city, I need to see you. It's not gonna make it happen. But are you consistent okay. with having like friendship and checking in? No, but that's because you have your own experience. So I have to take that person because I'm the same way. So if someone says something about it, then you might have to say something about it. Because no, I, I'm the same uh, way too. So you want to know what though? That's what I want to work on. Me too. And that's why it's like. For your birthday, I flew yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, that's a big step. Yeah, that's, yes. a, that's a really big step. I flew step. here for his birthday. Yeah. Your birthdays are such a special moment. That's the yeah. only time that you can really like spend. Exactly. That's such a special time to spend with your friends. Yeah. So for you to do that, that's a big step because yeah. you're showing up exactly. for your friends. And that's Absolutely. what I want to do too. Like even with you, Tati, because I don't consider many people friends. But I always say, like, no, Tati is my friend. Like, that's my friend. I used to say Justin, like, Tati is our friend. Like, yeah. that's our friend. Like, we might not speak to her as much, but that's our friend. But even, like, for me, like, I'd be saying that, yo, you know how many times I'd be, I'd be wanting to pick up the phone and call you, but I'm like, well, why don't you do that? Because it's so out of my character. Because you don't do that. You're yeah, right. We both don't do it. So it's out of our time. We all don't do it. See, that's the one. No, part, you though. don't call me. I okay, I'm you see, don't I wanna call. try <laughs> <laughs> I need to try to be a more consistent friend and that's what I want yeah. that's what but I But I never do. really felt you were. Maybe not with you though. But I'm even talking about just Tati. Okay, yeah. yeah. Like okay. I wanna yeah. talk on the phone. Right, 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 yeah, right, like I would right. wanna talk on the phone with Tati. Like she's somebody that I would call. Then yeah. I was about to call you the other day to tell you that we was going to Justin's birthday. And I was like, no, I'm gonna just text her. Like that's yeah, she's I'm gonna, gonna be weirded out. Yeah, no, cause I'm like, what? that makes it weird though. Because I feel like you couldn't just FaceTime me like, hey girl. I be wanting to do that. that. We gotta to heal, y'all. Yo, we been bad. It's bad. It's like bad. friendship. It's really bad. It's bad. <laughs> we gotta stop doing that. Yeah, okay, we gotta start checking it. No. Yeah. No, I at least once a week. Checking in, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like my, my heart is <laughs> all soft right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or send a tag. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, okay, so next time I'll call you and be like, I'm gonna pray to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, we'll pray on the phone. Well, if I get annoying, y'all can let me know. I feel like I'll be the annoying one. Remember when she was texting us? They're my best She's like, I'm coming to LA. We're like, girl, you're not coming. I was dead ass supposed to. Aliyah in LA and we looking for apartment. Nah. <laughs> we gonna go apartment hunting because she's not going back to New York. I don't know why she wanna go back to New York. Like there's nothing over there. Like, but I heard everybody going back to New York according to her. So I don't know how true that is. That is very true. I don't think so. I feel like all of the US is just whack right now. Like everywhere is whack. Like Miami hey, was whack. New York is whack. LA is whack. Like everywhere is whack. Where is it at y'all? It's, it's in New York. Oh, well, people are also moving across country. Like, I'm over state last. Like, I don't want to go to Dukes. Like, <laughs> I'm over all of that. <laughs> like, what is we giving, y'all? Remember, remember you with the Starlets, babes? Oh, my God. Please don't even bring when me back to the you used to, to be in Starlets all day. <laughs> and I used to be like, Aaliyah, come with me. Come with me. We going, we going to Starlets after this. Absolutely she not. She had to... <laughs> Like, she no. had to sit and have a conversation with me like, Justin, you need to stop asking me to go to the strip club because I'm not going. I'm like, oh my God, right. The strip club is not my... No, it's not it. Like, I'm going to Dubai. You should. I and, really can see myself living there, though. And join a housewife. I really can see myself living there. Like, dead ass. I've like, never been. Uh, I want to go so bad. I'm just scared of all the laws, I feel like. There's no laws. I mean, there's laws. They're going to see me with these earrings on and shoot me down. No. <laughs> Gay people go to... Dubai. I know. All the time. Yeah. That's why it's like people be trying to act like it's mad strict. It's not mad strict. You can't just be doing the most like how New Yorkers are. Mm -hmm. Like you go down the street and they just fight in and just yeah, doing no. the most. You can't do that. Like you can't be a disturbance. That's everywhere. Though. Even like... It, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. in New York, it's like... <laughs> you can literally get yeah, away with it. Yeah. Dubai, you can't get away with that. You're not supposed to be disturbing people. Everybody lives like a luxury, like a uh, quiet life out there. And then it's like, um, remember when I wore it for my birthday? Yeah. My see-through dress? Yeah, like, how did you even wear that? Because Dubai is not all that serious the way people be trying to make it. People be trying to You make went it. out in that? Well, I did stay in my hotel, so that oh. is a factor. I stayed at my hotel, but I had like a beach um, dinner. So, I want to go. I want to have the hookah with the fish in it. Yes, that's not my favorite hotel. He's late. He's laid out on the couch because I'm being his therapist. Yeah. So I'm like sitting here. We about to go to Ocean Prime. Um, we actually we actually just did two videos, one for my channel and one for his channel. So, um, we kind of talked a lot about everything in that video. We're starving. And some hookah after. Yeah, hookah after. So. Joy, let me get these. You really want them? Those are coming out soon. All right, we about to go get some food. We tired. Look. Well, we we we, we not hungry. tired. Yeah, we hungry, we hungry so we don't got more. no energy. All right, we out. You guys, my lips. They are on fire. <laughs> It hurts so bad. I, this is the Too Faced lip injection. This is the maximum plump. I forgot how serious this stuff was. It literally, like, it literally looks like I got lip injections. Like, you see how red they are? That is magic. Anywho, I am finally back in New York. I got back to New York a few days ago, and ever since then, I've just been resting. I am exhausted. Today's Labor Day. I barely even want to get up. I'm gonna go to my mom's house. My brother is over there. Uh, hang out with them for Labor Day. I'm actually like running super late. I told them I was gonna be there at 2 and it's 2.30 right now. Visiting LA and visiting Justin was actually like really what I needed. You don't realize how much you need your friends until you literally are with them and you're like, oh my God, like this is what I needed the whole time. And so I think I, I feel like I go through that a lot. And it's so funny because me and Justin actually spoke about like our friendship actually in private. We did not talk about it on the vlog. I told him, I, I told him, did he think that I was the type of friend to 
only be his friend like when I'm single because I have heard that from someone before. I don't feel like I'm that person, but I do think that when I was in a toxic situation, like, you know, I didn't uh, put my friends at the forefront. I was so overwhelmed and just consumed with just trying to navigate life and then like, you know, just doing all of that. So I talked to Justin about that and he was just like, no, I don't think so. I always wondered that if he thought that about me. And so I'm happy that I got that kind of cleared up. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like I'm that friend. Like, I feel like, you know, I am a lover girl for sure. We all are, we're all girls, like, duh. We can't be like with our friends all day. So I am a lover girl for sure. But I do take time for my friends, but I do think like, you know, moving forward, being that I am so like secure where I'm at in life as far as like myself, my business, my relationship. I'm secure in all those areas. I feel like I can now like pay attention to those other little things that I didn't do before because I was so like worried about the small things. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. I hope it does. Um, if you can relate, let me know down below because I hate to feel like I'm the only one. But if I am, I'm fine with that. We talked a lot about our friendship. We actually got... <laughs> The last day I was there, we actually got so fucked up. And it's funny because as soon as I landed back in New York, I got a text. I got this text from one of my best friends. My best friend, Adonis. I got that text. I had no clue that the entire Facebook was talking about me. Supposedly, they're all talking about like my weight gain and all of this stuff and everyone's trying to like clown me about it. When I first seen that post about like my weight gain and oh, people are like, what happened to Aaliyah K? Ain't shit happened to me, bitch. Ain't shit happened. The only thing that happened is that I'm getting richer. That's what's happening. I was a little confused. I'm like, I mean, I get it though. You know, like people are not used to seeing weight on me. I really do get it. I wasn't like upset at first. Like I was just kind of like, like, you know, I've been through this. Like I've been through worse, okay? I done been canceled. I done been bullied. I done been harassed by girls and exes and all of this stuff. So like at first I was just like not even caring. But then after the fact, like I was in the airport getting my luggage, like I wasn't even out of the airport yet. I was just like, they mad at me, like. And I did start feeling a little bit a type of way, a little bit. But I do think that I kind of like started overthinking it a little bit in the moment. My initial thought was that I didn't care. I just feel like if that's your initial thought, then that's your initial thought. And sometimes that may not be true for everybody, but like, my initial thought was that I just didn't care. And I, I totally understand like what people are seeing. Like obviously, like I said, I look totally different, all of that stuff. So it's like, yeah, you know, like I know people are gonna say things. You wanna know what's so funny? On my way home, I was literally planning on making a TikTok, reading bitches for filth. When I say for filth, Oh man, <sighs> I had it ready. The gun was loaded, okay? But, oh my God, this blush is beautiful. Anyway, I was planning on say saying something, but then I realized that I have a lot of shit planned. Like I got mad shit coming up. I got fashion week coming up, that's one. But that's like, you know, that's gonna happen. But I have like, I went to LA and shot my first video for a podcast that I'm doing that I've been wanting to do since 2020. And I'm gonna allow people to trick me out my spot to make me look crazy and make it look like I'm pressed when I'm my initial feeling I wasn't. The devil cannot trick me out of my spot to be all disturbed and make it look crazy. And then it's like, you know, one thing about me, I always keep it pee online, always. I don't crash out online, I don't do none of that. I, and I do that purposely, like, you know, I have real feelings, but like, I'm not the person that's gonna go online and like be screaming at the phone, because for one, I have brand deals, I have big time companies that are looking at me. Y'all don't understand. I have stuff in the works, like real life stuff. I told y'all I've been working with a PR agency, so like, this is the type of stuff that 
you know, I wouldn't be able to even respond to or like I would have got backlash. And not even that I wouldn't be able to respond to, but I think it's also like a way you respond. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. I almost, I literally was on my way home, like watch when I get home. Like I wasn't even gonna like put my suitcase down, put my luggage away and all of that stuff, take a shower. I was not even gonna do that. I was literally planning on making a video right in my airport clothes and we didn't bitches fulfill. Think this is how God works. While I was on my way home, I got a minute to think and calm down, which I didn't realize at first, obviously, but that gave me a moment to think. And I was just like, I am not letting you bitches trick me out in my spot ever. They're gonna talk about me anyway. Right now, the entire world is talking about Ice Spice losing weight. This is all pertaining weight. They're talking about Ice Spice, Lizzo always. They was just talking about Gloss Up, because she posted a picture with no makeup on. They was just talking about Glorilla because they said that she don't have no whatever. I don't know. I'm not repeating it. But they was talking bad shit. Kim Petras because they said she's on Ozempic. Um, who else? The Ice Spice was on Ozempic as well. Me. Um, a few people. When, when Nikki had her baby, they was talking about her. Mind you, she has a whole like human that she just birthed. So it's like, you know, you can't really care about these type of things because people are gonna really talk regardless. At second, I was just like, oh, like, fuck these bitches, I don't know. But I got bigger blessings on the way. One thing about the devil is that he will try to block those blessings any way he can. He will use anything. Really, the bigger reason of all of this is that I filmed the podcast with Justin and we was in horrible lighting. So yeah, my makeup looked a little crazy. We was we had horrible lighting, y'all. Horrible lighting. And then on top of that, we had small ass mirrors. And then on top of that, we went out after that and that's when we got like super drunk and fucked up. And I was hella greasy by the night. Like I was done, okay? Like I looked a hot ass mess. Honestly, I took my clothes off. Like he came back to my hotel room. I took my clothes off. I was about to put on um my pajamas and everything and we literally was like we said something about tiktok and we looked at each other and screamed because we forgot to finish the last part and so if you guys look the last part i literally looked at mess because i had to hurry up and put my clothes back on because he was about to leave and we had to finish the last part there's bigger fish to fry here like fuck these people and on top of that it's bitches talking about me who don't even like are you serious? I shouldn't be clicking on your profile and you look crazy. Like, there's no reason why I should click on your profile and look crazy. But you wanna know what? I'm not the old me. The old me, y'all already know, the old me woulda went crazy, okay? The old me woulda dragged and read bitches for filth. I am grown. <laughs> Let's just say that part, I'm grown. The people who's getting the time of my day are not bitches online that's talking about me. But you wanna know what? To be quite honest, I had a lot of love and support through all of that and it just lets me know that like, I really built this community. Like, I really built this community from the ground up by myself. And it's like, my army is riding at dawn. It's giving like, you know how like the beehive, like they go in for Beyonce? Okay, my army don't play and I don't play about them either. And they know that. And this is why I continue to do it. Like I'm not gonna let people who's not, who can't sit with us, get us, hold on, this is, this is how it is. Us, army, this is us. We in our little group, we in our little, you know, doing our thing, being pretty, whatever we gotta do. And then it's like some ugly troll that comes out of nowhere and they're like, <laughs> you know them like trolls on like the shows that are like, they're like dumb. That's how it feels. And then it's like, we looking up at the troll cause we can sit with each other. We looking up at the troll and we like, and then they just say some dumb shit like, <laughs> you know the troll? I know y'all know what I'm talking about. So we know this troll is dumb. Why would we take our bodies and get up and try to fight? Why? They're, they're so, like the trolls are so like big and disgusting and slimy that they can't even fit in a seat if we was to give them one. 
Therefore, they cannot sit with us, okay? This is us, okay? We here. What? Like, you kind of just got to look at them like, like, girl, you see this? Look at this shit. You kind of got to do that. Why the hell will we be getting up for a, a dumb troll that's like feed five fold from stomping over here trying to shake us? Baby, we sitting down. We can't be shook, okay? We already took our seats and you can't sit next to us. And that's all I got to say about that. Like, you know, it is what it is. And people are going to talk. People are still talking about Michael Jackson to this day. They still talking about the way he looked. My makeup was a little messed up, I ain't gonna lie. But I already told y'all why, like, I had horrible lighting, I was doing the podcast, the mirror was far away. When you guys see it, you guys will understand. But, you know, I'm kinda like, not winging it, but like this podcast, I'm kinda like, I'm not doing a full on production because I want it to be super organic and super authentic. So like, I now that I shot the first one, I know that I really have to like, just do way better lighting and that's really it like but i still want it to be like more organic and authentic and stuff so anyway i'm about to get ready let me finish getting ready y'all i don't know what i did with my eyebrows just now i didn't like <sighs> i actually hate doing my eyebrows let me just wipe this off i don't know what i do with my eyebrows i just put a little bit of concealer on a little bit of blush a little bit of i'm about to just throw on like some sweats and call it a day 